Hello everyone, Dave here, and today I'm going to show you some of the solutions to resolve the unable to reset error found in Windows 10, 8 and 7. We'll take a deep dive into what triggers this error and what steps you can take to troubleshoot it instantly so that you can reset the computer without any interruption. And in the end, we'll also take a look at how you can recover files that you might have lost whilst resetting your computer. So, if you've been unable to reset your PC, then continue watching. By the end of this video, you'll be able to resolve the issue all by yourself. And if this is your first time watching our channel, then make sure to press the subscribe button so that you don't miss out on any future updates. Now, before we get into the methods of resolving the unable to reset PC error, let's just first take a quick look at some of the different factors that can cause the issue. In general, the error gets triggered when you're either resetting your PC or trying to install a fresh version of Windows from scratch. So here are some of the factors that can be responsible for Windows being unable to reset your PC. Either the master boot record uh, partition is damaged or corrupted, a few of the system files might be missing, or in some cases a missing drive partition can be the reason why you're unable to reset your PC. Now, since a missing disk partition is a common reason behind said error, then using the check this command to diagnose a situation is pretty helpful. For viewers who don't know, check disk is a Windows utility that is designed to help users scan disk drives for file errors and then resolve them automatically. So here is how you can use check disk to fix the unable to reset error on your PC. First of all, open command prompt as administrator. Now type check disk, followed by the letter that you have your boot drive set to, forward slash F, forward slash R, forward slash X, and press enter. Check disk will now start scanning that particular drive and fix any errors that it is finding, and hopefully that will allow you to reset your PC without any hassle. While you're in the CMD window, you can also use the system file checker, or SFC utility, to fix the issue. Now this again is an official Windows utility that allows users to scan different system files and repair the ones that have become corrupted. Now to use the SFC utility, all you have to do is follow a few easy steps, starting again by being in command prompt as administrator. Now type SFC forward slash scan now and press enter. The utility will automatically start scanning all of your system files for errors. Now this process can take a few minutes to complete. Now if the previous two methods have not worked in your favor, the last solution would be to rebuild the boot record from scratch. Now for this you will need a Windows installation media, either a USB drive or a hard disk. Simply connect the installation media to your computer and then follow these steps to rebuild the boot record. First, boot your system and press whatever key your motherboard has assigned for the boot menu. Usually it's either F2, F12 or delete. Now, using the arrows, choose either your USB drive or the DVD to boot into the Windows installation menu. Now click on the install Windows button and then tap on repair your computer found in the bottom left corner. In the repair menu, click on troubleshoot. Then on the next screen, select Advanced Options and tap on Command Prompt. Now this will launch the CMD window on your screen. Now you'll have to execute a series of commands. So enter these commands one by one to start rebuilding your boot record. Boot rec forward slash fix MBR. Then boot rec forward slash fix boot. Then a trib followed by the letter that you've assigned to your boot drive. Backslash boot backslash bcd dash h dash r dash s ren then again the specific drive letter backslash boot backslash bcd dot b a k and finally boot rec forward slash rebuild bcd now, when you're resetting a Windows computer or installing a new version of Windows, it is quite possible that you end up losing valuable data during the process. Now, if this same thing has happened to you, then I would personally recommend using Wondershare Recoverit to get the files back. Recoverit is a full-scale data recovery software designed to retrieve different types of deleted files from different storage devices. 
It supports pretty much every file format and allows users to recover data without any hassle. So here is how you can use Recover It to retrieve accidentally deleted files. After you've installed and launched Recover It, on the home screen, select the drive location where you want to recover data from. Now Recover It will start scanning that particular location and find any deleted files. This process shouldn't take more than a few minutes to complete. After a while, you will see a list of all of the scanned results on your screen. Now all you have to do is select whichever files that you want to get back and then click on the recover button in the bottom right corner to retrieve those selected files back to your system. So that's a wrap on today's episode on how to fix the unable to reset PC on a Windows computer. Of course, seeing this error flashing up on your screen might seem scary at first, but it is worth noting, you can easily resolve it all by yourself. The only thing that you have to bear in mind is that resetting PCs might result in data loss. And in that case, you can simply use a piece of professional data recovery like Recoverit to get that data back. Once again, thanks for tuning into today's episode. If you found this video helpful, then make sure to drop a like and a comment down below. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel to never miss out on any future updates.